And let's uh, let's play this actually. Where is it? 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 Let's play this. Let's play this one. So I'm sure most of you guys have seen this, right? Um, have you guys seen this? The season finale. Have you guys seen all this stuff? Mega Dan. I'm sure some of you guys have seen this. Have you guys seen this? Mega Dan, Jim Khan, Sue and Brendan Shaw um, season finale. Let's just play this. I think some of you guys have seen this. Some of you guys haven't, but this is fucking incredible work. Um, Jim Khan, Sue and Brendan Shaw edition part 12, part, sorry, part 11 season finale. Check it out if you need to. We're going to pause it here and then check it out ourselves and watch it live. JCS Brendan Schaub edition. On March 3rd, you text Bobby asking if he's handled the quote unquote Kalila ship yet. In this text chain, you said, I don't want to have to get nasty with her, but if I have no choice, I can definitely play that game. <laughs> you told me that the feds had been investigating a video of child abuse on the subreddit. They were able to retrieve 300 pages of evidence that either Bobby or I were responsible for the six years of subreddit harassment i say brendan this is what always talked about in three later that afternoon Callan calls to apologize to bobby for the bullying threats etc to find bullying for you. <laughs> legendary big up bgl yeah big up that big redacted lion for basically providing brendan with one of the he thought one of the most um eye-opening questions ended up being one of the best memes ever created out of that whole scene man define bullying he honestly thought that was a trump card he honestly thought when he asked that question that was going to be the time he kind of shook the room like define bullying define bullying bruv look at you <laughs> faces <laughs> define bullying for me if looks could kill like what like Callan bu like Callan bullied you, Bobby? Acting oblivious to the unusual development of the situation will be a glaring red flag in the eyes of the investigators. It's been shown time and again on this channel. So good. Guilty suspects will often try and act naive to a blatant confrontation as a means to avoiding it altogether. Whereas truthful subjects will address the confrontation and either refute it or if it's subtle, want immediate clarification and transparency as to what was being insinuated. Um, the phone, that phone call. Is that phone call. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying. Was that, does that seem bullying to you? The detective seems to have a hard time in concealing his disgust and anger. It's a slip of the mask, but fortunately isn't too drastic at this early stage. The, that phone call, yes. I didn't know if you and Ka if Callan called you like every other day doing this. No, 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 no. Which I highly doubt. He was like, I'm so sorry. I should have done it better. You're my friend, this and that. But there's still somebody on your team, you know what I mean? And at that point, I was just like, Oh, and I, have it, that, I also have it, it on excellent authority mm -hmm. that we're not the first people he has threatened that whole Reddit thing about. Brian? He has used that excuse on multiple people. I know you're responsible for Reddit. So when I heard that. Talon has? Oh, yeah. We had a discussion, right? About, I said, how, how do we end this? Because this isn't good for Correct. anyone. I said, should I go on the podcast and air it out? And right. then we came to an agreement to, because I, I didn't think coming on here was a great idea, you know, because just because I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. you know. This is a very intriguing moment of the interrogation, as the suspect's state of mind seems to be in two places at once. He is undoubtedly clinging on to hope, made evident by his outright refusal to admit involvement, yet he still has situational awareness. He knows deep down that his act isn't being bought. I mean, because, you know, I mean, we all know you know, um, that we get harassed, you know what I mean, and things said about us on the internet, but mine's with her as- Mine's Bubba. Huh? Mine's I know it is, you know but what? I'm just saying- mine's I would different. say mine is on par with yours. Mm -mm. I'll share with you what I do. <laughs> okay. All this stems back to all, all that stuff. It's all a, a, a place of, of fear. It's all a place of fear because we talk about Reddit and that stuff and the harassment, promise you mine's different. That, I know I look tough and all that. That stuff hurts my feeling. That's why I'm not on social media. Oh, fuck off, you cunt. But a deleted video that would later be extracted from his phone would tell a very different story. For the people that are, are negative or are on, uh, are, are on forums and are uh, create troll accounts, I, I view those people the same I'd view a homeless guy critiquing my art or critiquing my set or critiquing a podcast. They do not matter. It literally. This was the birth of the term the homeless cats. 
He does it all to himself, bro. He even provided his detractors with a name and a moniker that they could all band behind and get behind and rally behind to bring him down, bro. Like, do you know how insane that is? That you're that hated that you make up a term that they even all your detractors get behind and use as a as a flipping ident- for identification purposes. <laughs> it does not matter to me. I look at nothing. That's smart. I, and then I, I look at my bank account, see how my ads are doing. Everything good, 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 cool, man. I don't see social media, dude. I don't <sighs> see any of it. I post like that. What an idiot. I don't think you guys have anything to do with it. But, where is but, hold, but hold on, Kalai. I, ha- I have the proof. Here, here's the thing. Did you wish your briefcase? And, and I, I don't need a briefcase. <laughs> I don't need a briefcase. I wish I could laugh at that. Yeah. I don't have a briefcase. I have it all on my phone. Okay. The reason I can't send it to you because the ongoing investigation. I can't. Why is his tongue so heavy as well, by the way? Has, has anyone noticed that? Why does his tongue look like a, a, mar- a piece of marble? It looks like a block. Like It's like he can't. Or is that, or is that part of the speech impediment? That he's allegedly thinks he has. I don't think he actually has it personally. I just think he just doesn't take any time to actually consider his words, to pause, to, you know, whatever, to articulate or enunciate himself properly. I just don't think he has any care for it. He just goes, as he says. But the way his tongue looks so gigantic. <laughs> On the investigation for the child abuse thing? For There's six counts on there that you're talking about pedophiles. You're talking about horrible shit. Mm. Okay. It's bigger than me. But the, they're gonna, the, that's going to be dealt with. Again, I don't think it's you Will guys. Can you show me now? May I see it? No. I'll show you that when we'll, we got We'll blur this uh, off. Because we, sh- we want to know. Because like we... I'll show you after I show. I want the let, audience let me get, to think let, that let me... you actually showed us something you never did. Well, yeah, I can I can show it to you. Here's here's the thing. This oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. So look at the look at Kalana's face. She's not buying it in the slightest. Look at that face. <laughs> I did not buy. I did not see this the first time. I didn't clock this. It's so weird. Imagine accusing somebody of what you've accused them of, right? Of a con of a concerted effort to basically destroy you online, ruin your reputation by organizing and setting up this reddit six years of abuse you finally get to confront them in person but then you're not willing to show them proof of why you think they did it to justify why you were being a dickhead because you know to justify your bullying or to define bullying and to justify you trying to fuck her i don't know <laughs> you would probably show it in it like here this is why i've been being a dick to you see what would you do if you were me kind of thing? Do you know that kind of stuff? But he didn't show it. He didn't even even try to show it on air. Just loads of words. Absolute liar, bro. This is what's interesting. Explain this however you want. When I notified you guys of the harassment and, and going back to Tiger Belly, that account stopped posting, took the Tiger Belly email off, and changed it. It's never posted again. Do you know how Reddit works? No. The detective is, <laughs> is very good at stating the essential wording of a question in a very quick and casual manner, which disguises the condemnatory nature of the Inquisition. So you seem to have very clear convictions about this alleged occurrence from my company, all the while not really knowing how Reddit posting works, Brendan. Exactly. From my end, it looked foolish for you to be this fragile over something some three girls said on a podcast it looked foolish so in my end the way i understand it is we need to come up with a bigger story about kalila to incriminate so that my reaction to that trash tuesday talk doesn't seem insane no that's how i receive you're giving me too much credit you're giving me too much credit okay okay can i say something yes all right you know what right unpopular opinion i actually believe him I actually don't think he's as smart as Kalila has given him credit for being. What I think happened, and I've mentioned this plenty of times, is that I honestly do think Brendan got scammed. Somebody in his team figured out he was all the stuff was happening at the same time, right? The, the Annie stuff, the Kalila stuff, the Reddit was popping off. It was, I think, fast approaching like 60 thousands people on there and shit right the hate was getting really really on top of him it was starting to affect his confidence he got let go from showtime all these things happened at the same time 
and he was finally getting to the point where he was had enough of the haters, had enough. He's, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start going on a front foot now. No more just ignoring it, pretending it doesn't exist. I'm gonna start attacking, which is when he started suing, and I think he then went to sue Uniques and shit, and taking down videos. I think in that moment, in that whole carnage of that situation, somebody in his team, somebody associated with him, took advantage and basically said, "Hey, I know somebody who can figure out who's behind this." Like I know someone like, who works on computers, who's a cyber security expert. I don't know, something stupid. Because he doesn't have that much knowledge of computers, if you have a bit more than him, he obviously thinks you know what you're talking about. That person then went and pressed right-click, view page source, printed a whole page full of flipping HTML code, sent it to him, and circled fucking Tiger Belly emails and shit, and weird posts and incriminating posts and whatnot, and he just latched onto it because he was looking for an exit anyway. He was looking for an excuse. He was looking for something to kind of give him a reason to be a dick or to for this drama, do you know what I mean? to kind of make himself look good. So I don't think he was calculated on his part. I just think he was duped by somebody. Somebody presented evidence and made it look like it was legit. It wasn't legit. But because he's so desperate to try to save face, he latched onto it because he has nothing else to latch onto. That's what I think happened. Number one, I don't need to see it. I don't personally need to see it because I know that I have nothing to do with it. You, know? you do absolutely. Yeah, yeah. number yeah. one. Um, you, you're saying that you know me, right? If you did know me, right, you already know, you would already know that I had nothing to do with it because of the fact that when all this thing happened, Delia called me laughing, <laughs> right? And Delia goes, <laughs> Oh really, dude? You don't own a computer. He answers True. the phone with his iPad. He, he goes, "You don't, you don't know how to get on your email." And I, and he was laughing. I go, "I know." In fact, I've had calls from the twitching as well. It's hilarious, isn't it? The face. Look at the twitching, knowing that all his friends are laughing behind his back and think, "Oh man, so embarrassing." Like I just can't. I just couldn't. I think this episode of the Tiger Belly is on like a million views as well. It's on more views than his special. <laughs> everybody right huge names in the podcast room laughing like what he, they apparently don't know who you are and how you operate He's literally feet right? missing fingers yeah, yeah i'm missing fingers my we're, point we're is we're not saying it's the, the, it's not bad. i understand that but but you understand that because of the call a week and a half ago with you and brian right you said that it was me in the beginning i said your name is on the account bob right Right, and then eventually, and then call, we said it's eventually not through cutting off denials before they can be voiced is imperative during the early stages of an interrogation. If the suspect is allowed to voice a denial and feel he is being listened to, it will only increase his confidence and conviction behind his stated innocence. I have a question about the delicacy or the delicate nature of um, the investigation regarding pedophilia, mm -hmm. regarding this beaten baby mm -hmm. on the subreddit. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> as you don't that was unique, right? I lo honestly, I honestly do think someone duped him. Somebody just put it all into one. <laughs> have ownership of that subreddit, correct? That is not your subreddit. No, okay, then anybody. why are those federal investigators considering? I said they're not feds. Okay, they're let's say rot. But, but you, if Reddit if, cops, if that is an in, in active investigation right now, and that is the reason why you cannot show us that information no i can't what? show you i can't i can't send you that the documents okay you physically have them in your possession so they I can show it to you right now when we get off i can show you as soon as we get done i will show you all the shit i have he didn't i'm gonna <laughs> spit shake on that brendan i mean why, yeah. why wouldn't i yeah i mean because i've been asking it for weeks yeah and i've been asking to meet i feel like you've long played me uh, uh, you've been asking me to meet in person no i've been I asking tried you where you is person. this where yeah, you did. You went to fuck. <laughs> you see how he lit up there? He lit up really well there. Like, you went to meet, meet, me. Walk to my truck. Where is this thing? Where is this thing? And you're like, I'm busy. Maybe tomorrow. I'm busy. Just Maybe the, tomorrow. Just the docs. Because only and it's I'm like. not busy? Because here's the thing with the docs. It's like they're either not real real or we have someone that somehow got a hold and hacked us we just want to know for ourselves if right we and you should yeah but that's and why it's very important and, we see these but he, and if, here's my thing i'm not accusing anybody in here mm -hmm. but let's say in some weird world it's somebody that you, you you know you're associating you had no idea it was happening i still don't give a shit. i just want to stop yeah 
That's it. Okay. Okay. That's the only reason. That's what, yeah, you hear yeah. that? Whoever is the incel living in my backyard. Do Nick. The professional ruthlessness of this investigator is quite astonishing. The demeaning and sarcastic tone she manages to superimpose over straight facts is gripping to witness. So, and then y you're, you... It doesn't stop for, you know what I'm saying, but... You deny then that you felt under attack by the girls and that you had to double down and create this Reddit drama. Like, you deny that. I swear on my kids. Okay, so you I swear you on my kids. That's not you're insisting that's two separate um, things and not correct. Tied, not associated to one another. In any another. facet, that it wasn't a way to retaliate no, against I us. No, I swear on my kids. That it just so happens that five days after the live show, there are Reddit accusations about me. I swear on my life. I, okay, it, it's very. Con I agree. Very convenient. Very mysterious. Mysterious. Agree. Okay, my <laughs> path forward. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm telling you, I. There's nothing I love more on this planet than my kids. Okay. I swear on my kids' lives okay. that this team yeah. brought up the Tiger Belly email. Okay. okay. I, I, I just love that you keep talking about a team and nothing has been produced. <laughs> but, I've not but seen he has it right but here. I have it right gonna here. It. You're going to see it. We're going to see it, and then once we see it. No, okay, it's not, hold on. It's not allegedly. Uh, I'm going to show you as soon, soon as we get off here. You want to know what happened <laughs> after the podcast last week. So here is a quick follow-up to that episode. Press X for doubt in the chat. Press X for doubt in the chat. <laughs> oh, Brendan, 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 man. Honestly, this Hall of Fame is embarrassing. It's, not, it, it be, it's bad enough trying to hook up with somebody who's your friend's wife, right? And she turns you down. That's bad enough. I wouldn't want to show my face if that happened to me. And then for it to be like played out in real time like this in excruciating detail. God damn. As of today, we have not seen said 300 pages of documents. After the podcast, we were shown a couple of zoomed in screenshots of source code with no contacts. Our email address is in the corner of one screenshot and the name Robert Lee on the corner of another screenshot. When we asked him who sent these to him, he said, Brian. We then asked to be connected to his team directly to get further clarity Brian, that he would make that happen. Brian we fucking Callan. The next three days, and finally on Thursday, we received a text from Brendan saying his team would prefer to handle this issue in house and does not feel comfortable sharing information with Tiger Belly. To recap, we have not received any substantial evidence regarding the accusations. We have not been in contact with a team. All we've seen are some screenshots sent to Brendan from Brian Callan. We're hoping to get some closure on this, but that's probably not going to happen. And the suspect's conduct throughout the entire procedure is not only mystifying, but almost impressive. This is one of the most extraordinary pieces of interrogation footage to ever reach the public domain. <laughs> anyway, that's my two cents. Um, well, I love you, man. I, I, I wish I could sit <laughs> 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 Something special. I was your Adonis. Now all these homeless cats are trying to name the fucking waters. Is it nice? Please define bully. Help me get douche the cats at Tiger's belly. I remember the salad days, the good times you me and Callan days. On the pod, we were laughing it up. Now what? You can't pick up? Come on, Joe. <laughs> fucking incredible piece of art i wonder right for someone like a bgl who's like a new friend for brendan and who's clearly like wanting to be brendan's new best friend right and he's attacking everyone online trying to dox people and doing all this lame nonsense shit he's only known brendan basically through his worst times isn't it like how he's been perceived like he's only met him since he's been this social pariah right in, in the stand-up comedy world the podcasting scene if you're someone like him and you just met the guy recently what what about brendan makes you think okay he's a good dude like i like him like you see everything that's happened online do you just i wonder what happens what kind of goes through your head or do you just think or maybe he just thinks it's not as bad as what people are making it seem as like it's not that big of a deal or there's more to the story or I don't know. I wonder what goes through someone like that's head because it's one thing being his friend. If you're like an old school Brendan friend, like from back in the day, 
you just have to be loyal, right? That's what friendship's about. But if you just met the guy a couple of years ago and you learn all this stuff in real time, it's like, God damn it, man. You're incredibly unlikable, isn't it? Fuck me, man. What an incredible video. But yeah, um, ch check out Mega Dan, Jim Can't Swim, Brendan Shaw Edition, Part 11, Season Finale. Legitimately one of the best produced videos I've seen from that entire flipping homeless cat, cat fucking community so definitely check him out and check out his videos man that's fucking incredible 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 work big up big up what's the people in the chat saying here bj will be thrown to the side like the rest within six months pt i don't think so my friend i think bjl's gonna be here for the long term i think bjl's here for the long term um bgl is effectively brendan's only kind of like real friend for the most part if you think about it because he's willing to really go to the end for him he's made it clear i mean he's threatening to dox people bro do you know what i mean he's threatening to throw the whole entire operation in disrepute off the back of brendan so he's and if, if one thing brendan's going to um if, if there's one thing brendan's going to really appreciate during these dark times it's definitely loyalty somebody willing to like stick by him through thick and thin regardless so i don't think bjl's going anywhere anywhere anytime soon man i think you've got that mistake and bjl's gonna be here for a long time um um he's what is his his role no i think bgl's take if i'm not mistaken bgl's basically taken over from uh cat on the show so he does what the social media posts and stuff so when they're on the show and brendan posts on instagram stories that's bgl posting the stuff on there and then when they do the current events, he contributes some news articles, which is what Kat used to do too, in terms of scouring the news and seeing what people are talking about culturally in that week. And then I guess outside of that, when they're on the road, because I think Brendan made a point recently that they were out on the road recently. So maybe when they're on the road, he's also what? His assistant when they're on the road? Yes, he's whiskey and shit. I don't know. Either way, man, it's fucking weird. It's fucking bizarre. Men in their flipping 40s capping for other guys that are younger than them. It's never going to sit right with me. But anyway, moving on. 